Hello and welcome to SQL Online. Today you'll learn how to make a GSP tax symbols. In your dashboard, click on the green button here and select tax symbols. First thing you need to do here is select the client. If you click here, you can either add a client from your list or add a new client. Let's see how this is done. Here you can complete some details related to your client. You can also add the billing address or a shipping address. If the shipping address is the same as the billing address, you just click this box. If not, then you leave it like this and just add a new address. So let's see how this is done. Okay, so you've added a client. Next thing, you can change some details related to your invoice. You can change the series number here. You can add some payment terms from here. You need to also add the purchase order number if you have any. If everything here is correct, then just move on. Now, you need to add an item or more to your invoice. If you click here, you can select an item from your list if you have any. If not, you can add a new item. Let's see how this is done. Here, there are a couple of things that you can add. So, first thing, you can select the item to be either a product or a service. Let's select it as a product. Now, enter a couple of details related to your item. Let's start. Quantity here refers to the quantity that you have in stock. So let's say you have a hundred items in your stock. Now you need to select a unit. If you click here, you can select one from here, or you can just type on to see if you can find it in your list. Okay, let's select piece. Now you have to select the tax for your product. Let's say it's taxed at 5%, and you have to add the HSN code. Here, you will add the price of your product and save. Okay, so you have added a product here. Now you have multiple things that you can do. You can add more units here if you're selling more. Let's say you're selling 10. You can add a discount if you wish to. Or if you require, you need to add just from here. Let's say just is 3% for the site. Okay, now add, click on add line. And you've added an item to your invoice. You can repeat this action for as many items as you want. And then you can move on. There are a couple of things that you can do next. So you can add shipping charges. Let's say we're adding shipping as we handled. And it's tax at 5%. You can add a discount to all. It's either in percentage or fixed as a fixed amount. And you can also select the invoice to be subject to reverse charge. You can see the change here. You can also add the transport label. Or you can leave this empty. Next, you can add some terms and conditions and a private note. This is for internal purposes only. It doesn't need to be shown to the client. Okay, so if you're done with this, let's click preview and save. And we have created the new flags and Okay. 
this is done. Thank you for watching. And if you wish to find out how to customize your invoice, please watch our next video.